Hello everyone. What I've got here is the second of the basic style of uh, wood tip Ottoman Turkish bows that I've been working on. This one's a little bit stronger. I made a little bit of effort to make sure the back of the grip or kabza area is flat, as flat as I could from here to here. So, and as bulbous on top as I could. But it's still not the correct profile, so I went ahead and sculpted out of one inch PVC some of these, which I'm going to attach onto it. Then I'm going to take any of the spaces in between them to round it off and smooth it and fill it with either epoxy or hot, probably just hot glue. Again, it's cheap. That will give me a nice round bulbous kapsa and should look pretty good in the end. Let me see if I can just snap this on here without hurting myself too bad. There we go. That's good. See, it's already nice and centered. I'm starting to fatten it up in the around the grip area, just like it ought to. And the final, final part snaps right on top. Actually, I found it's easy to take this one off, but this one. there we go. To be honest with you, wouldn't need a whole heck of a lot of glue probably could just do it around the edges and that would hold it on just fine but I'd still feel better. So there's the profile from the top again giving it a nice bulbous look in the center and from this side. This is almost going to be perfect once I round it and finish it it's gonna look really great. The only thing I can say is it drives home the fact that the limbs do not start off as wide as they would in an authentic Turkish bow, but due to the nature of PVC, that's simply not possible here. We have, if it were as flat as it is up here, the limbs would be too flexible, too floppy. It just wouldn't, it would bend only here, unless it were extremely wide, then you'd have to tiller the bow with width. It wouldn't work, so this is as close as we can come. I suppose I could sand here a little bit to try and make this more triangular, but the fact that it's still nice and, uh, well, the fact that it's all sitting on the top of the limb instead of being engulfed in it when, I, when you heat both sides, it looks better when it was inserted with this method. So I think this is about as good as the PVC Turkish bows are going to get. This one's a little bit heavier than the last one and I'm looking forward to shooting it. I strung it up and drew it. It draws just fine. You can see where there was a slight hinge here, so I circle it and I adjusted the limb until the tiller was correct. Your, those were the, the notes. The other bow is 398 grams decorated. This one was 360, I think 363, without any decorations. So I can go ahead and I'll, I'll weigh the bow uh, in terms of draw weight and then I will go ahead and do it again after I apply the, the leather. And we'll see exactly how that affects it this time around. So until next time, this is Tim. Hope he, this inspires you to go out and make some of your own because this is really cool, really fun, and it looks great. So, later YouTube.